But here for Complexity, a real shot at Redemption. Now, this is a pick of Navi. This is Overpass, and Poison's going to start the round off with a kill of his own on to the biggest player that we can think of. Simple. Already out of this pistol round. Yeah, that's been one good thing for Cole across the series. Poison has been besting simple. It's it's not like we've had the AWP head-to-head, -head really. Uh, it's often been Poison, you know, CT side AWPing, picking a rifle, or in this case, a pistol round. But it's a kill nonetheless. Perfecto needed that one. He has all, half the util for Na'Vi. Setting up outside of B to fake it out. Bomb is still in toilet, but it's going to come back down the connector. So where will this one end up? Electronic can throw util anywhere as well. It's going to run it all the way back in through T-Spawn by the looks of things. Na'Vi ending B. Cole stacking A, but they've got JKS back at the CT hmm. spawn watching for info. That dink on a long uh, peak is going to keep Cole here on A, but they look like they want to re-aggress. Rush going very far forward with config by the toilet as well. Nice little crossfire, but it's all in vain with Na'Vi going into this B bomb site. JKS is going to call for help, and it will have to be a retake for Cole. And Molotov out there on the barrel, smoke into upper, and JKS currently left to fight off Na'Vi. He takes a Serious amount of damage. He's down to four HP. The bomb's gonna be planted by electronic and Navi just trying to spread out in the site now for this retake. And Fig up in heaven, they're gonna re-smoke him off. So he's not gonna be having a good time with that. Boomich puts the first one down on the retake. JKS out. Config out. Rush in. Takes down Boomich. And now we have Poison on one HP trying to fight Perfecto. This is gonna be a bit of a, a tricky one for him. There's a kit right next to him. Which he does grab, but he's got to hit his first bullet here. He's going to tap the bomb, trying to draw out Perfecto. And actually, doesn't really matter. Navi, walk away with a pistol round. Simple having gone down in the very early stages. Doesn't matter. Utility usage there for Navi was really good on this pistol round. They re-smoke heaven. It's just one avenue of approach that Navi, you know, don't have to worry about in complexity. Well... Keep config there, eventually he is taken out. Flamey with a big sigh of relief. Now we get to see the speed turned up here for Navi just a little bit. They do have this weaponry. Just gotta be aware of some of these closer angles against these pistols. Cole would like a very, very fast decision to just rotate everyone B and fully pad this site. Now, that could be a good idea. It all hinges on electronic and how quickly he gets up long to discover that there's not many players here. There is just config. Whoa, they saw the boost. Blame tries to go back up for it. Takes one to the dome and we'll get out of there. And now, yeah, look, this is what's happening, right? Electronic gets very, very deep up long. And he's like, well, if they're boosting down on B, that means there's at least two there. There's smokes going into Monster as well. So they're a little bit paranoid about a B stack on the Na'Vi side. So they bring that bomb back around to join up with Electronic and Perfecto at long. And so this B play is no longer coming through. Now, Cole, at least, right, they're getting aggressive. So they're nabbing this information back. And this, this now becomes a bit of a weird round. They know that it's not B anymore. The downside to that is, is now you know it's A, where you only have one player this whole time, and he's given up a lot of ground in the process. So they start to rotate bodies up quickly, but it's still a three on five inside of the A site, and Flamey opens up. Config with the Deagle, delivering, <laughs> however, three in the round, and looking for even more is Config. Surely not. He's somehow still alive, still kicking, and JKS up through mid. Ready to pins to this. There's no time for a bomb plant anyway. Simple's just trying to save, and he might even die after time. That's a great response from Cole. Simple does fall once the clock strikes as well. So that's no money for him Thank on you. the back of that round. But this is what we were talking about to do with that re-aggression, right? To do with that information gathering. And while maybe you don't feel comfortable doing that on Nuke through fear of actually digging the hole deeper right and giving away an advantage that they can act on quickly there they start to suspect that maybe it's not b anymore and they get aggressive they push through monster they get that information and they're in the right place at the right time and here's a tweet from Depp, and it's obviously to back up the former teammate he had there in rush rush pretty impactful in that first game albeit a loss for complexity he wants to do a little bit of the same here config rewarded handsomely in that previous round 
the failed conversion by Navi. He walks away with an AK out of that one. Of course, he did kind of hold on to the A site somewhat alone. Quick cleanup here from Blame F at the top of the connector. Right now, complexity push up just far enough here on A. Got bathrooms control. Even got poison that's flirting with the idea over here towards party. Blame F falls. Poison takes another fight after having the electronic out of the round. And now what are these two remaining players going to do here for Navi? They start to edge their bets over here towards this A site. Here is Config. And he is entrenched. A little headshot angle there for him. Doesn't even really need to use it. Blamey walks into his crosshair. Now Boomich left in a 1v3. Dumps the nade and then tries to run away. He's weary. He knows that they're, they're clawing in. They're getting closer. The grasp is tightening. JKS falls, but ultimately it's Rush that ends the round out. And it is really nice to see Config getting off to a good start, right? Like, Overpass has always been a good map for Config. There's been a lot of big Config moments on this map, right? From Knives to uh, to Kill Records. And so it, it's very reassuring that now we move into a map he feels very, very comfortable on. Because on Nuke, you know, he, he was really, really struggling in that main position. He had like four rounds where he falls without even actually getting to fire a bullet off. And that's never fun. So here... You know, where he does feel comfortable. He's been rocking this A site, man. Like, a lot of the time getting left here with only one player maybe alongside him and then just calling for rotates when needed. But he does look so comfortable. And so already delivering. Already almost outperforming his performance from Nuke just moments ago, right? And we're only, what, four rounds in? We're not that deep. That's wild, yeah, man. He was 9 and 21 on Nuke. Now 6 and 1 to begin overpass. And the hustle continues for Cole. Another Rico for Navi. Even locked out of middle for the most part. Boomich makes it through the molly. Rush nade simple down at B. <laughs> me looking for revenge it's just not there buddy showing some presence though spamming the deeg and then picking the bomb up to join on the a site it's only poison but he's got middle and so that rotates even coming up early config is here in time and blames about to crunch from the connector doesn't want to go too early we got moonwalkers oh walkers like zombies everyone's just dancing dude look at look at blame the the, the crouch dance swinging those legs Obviously, server issues, but we're back. And somehow, Navi have made the most of a very bad situation. They are so low, though. Config, time to get some more kills. Time to pad those stats a little bit as he finds one. Perfecto in the corner. Mm. Does read him out, though. And now a three on a two on two, rather, with three kills for Perfecto. Yeah, they got to go, go back for the bomb. They got to go back for the bomb. And look how low these Navi players are. Kamas and M4 in their hands. And... Rush looking on from the connector. That creates an even bigger problem. The bomb now down at party and Perfecto just trying to get to it. It's going to be hard enough in a one on two right here. But this smoke might play in his favor. He's very weary of the idea that someone's going to push him from the A site. And he's not wrong. JKS moving slowly up long. Decides to hold back. 20 seconds. He needs to either get a plant or die. He doesn't want to save nothing here, really. The Famas, he could buy an AK next round. And yeah, he grabs a bomb with 10 seconds. At this point, it's already a save. And so M4 is the aim and save is the game. Call up to three. Good round for Perfecto, but once that bomb gets dropped back in no man's land, gets stalled out. Nothing he can really do at that point. No one's giving him a kill. This is the, t uh, like this round right here. Round five, we're looking at a buy here for Navi. This is the type of round where someone like Simple could flourish. We're going to drop him the op. So maybe we're in for a treat. This would be the time to turn the Jets up. Three to one currently for complexity. The map pick of Navi. Yeah, and just to contextualize uh, Simple in that in that first map, Poison was the only player who was actually beating him in head-to-head -head duels six and two. 
the same time, Poison was 0-9 against Electronic. So, did show in his performance, having a hard game. Electronic looked really good. Let's see if he can bring that level in here as well. Flamey outside B lurking, doing the dead fox, as I call it. Just sitting out in the water as the rest of Na'Vi charge long. Now they've started walking. How much info does Blame have? He's going to go for the swing. Simple just domes him. And the best part about that is he never sees the two other players. Now the bomb was on Simple, but there were three up long. And so Cole might be surprised. Config could get caught if he gets swung from this position. He's got poison nearby. No guns allowed in this round. It's fist fights only. Config. He's going to swing. Simple's waiting. Oh, he backs up. That's a good call because Boomit swings into him instead. Electronic dead and Config's up with a double. Simple trying to find something with the AWP and Config mm. is lights out right now. 10 to 2 as he finds Cole yet another round. Almost nothing Na'Vi can do in this position. Yeah, Flamey sets up in the water. He sets up shop to catch rotations and no one ever comes by. Now he gets a little confrontation. It's JKS. Ooh. But Config, on a warpath, the guy's on a mission. And that is to disrupt every flow that Navi can find. What? Ooh, that Flamey. Was, that was pretty gross. Yeah, bomb's gone. That's the round. But Flamey, he, he really did do something there. Tried to get two and almost did. Config bounce out. And Flamey waits for the rotate that will never deliver him anything. It's a save, sadly. Back to back. Yeah, not you, perfect rounds for Na'Vi. You see the hope in Na'Vi's eyes, too. You see Simple get that first kill. I think it was on Blame there at long. And you think, okay, maybe they'll just pack roll it with that, but it doesn't come to fruition. And that's going to be complexity going up. Four to one. Yeah, Cole, I, that's impressive. They get away with so much despite having so little info there. They only see Simple. He finds an opening kill, and then Config just goes lights out and, and tears him down at long. Hero AK surrounded by pistols in round number six for Na'Vi. The buys have been very weak so far on this T side. Cole, I've been writing the script. Blame pushing up on long, and Electronic is not even considering it. Traded, though, and in a round like this, trades are great for Na'Vi. Using that one AK2 success. Perfecto coming up connector, watched by the AWP poison. It's just such a slow approach here from Navi. And the more config shows his face in the server, the creepier it's going to get for him. And again. Silence. Everyone takes a deep breath. The deepest of breaths. Some might even question if there are still breaths being taken. I'll be going B here. They've grabbed some guns, armed well. Factor with armor given the M4. Simple coming out through short. Double monster play. No one here to stop him. So monster's great right now, but Rush has mollied off Simple. Trapped. This team are going to have to do the heavy lifting. There's only two players here, though, right now. JKS is coming out to help. Rush and the smoke dropping the bomb and dodging the flash as well. He does get dinged. Simple trades. JKS has made his way into the pit with 18 seconds. Again, that bomb is loose, and that has constantly been a pro problem for Na'Vi. It will continue as JKS it. drops it again. And the third save in a row for Na'Vi. Another rifle. Unless Simple wants to go, but yeah, it's not realistic. Nope. Cole find a fifth. Three rounds in a row saved here. At least one weapon for Na'Vi. And this is that momentum we were kind of discussing here for complexity. They're starting to find it on the CT side. And then being the first half, probably no better time for it. Yeah, that bomb, man, it keeps getting lost for Navi. It keeps getting caught out. Not can fix having a good time. And that's dangerous, right? You don't want to give this guy too much motivation. I remember once upon a time, Config smashing a, a poor little mouse. Not like a live mouse, but, you know, a peripheral mouse. Just smashing it. The guy's good. He's good at the game. It's a safe bet. You guys, you guys are pathetic. <laughs> Thank you, Trace. Just our daily reminder. dose. Just a little reminder for you. Yeah. 
Okay, orbs out. Another big buy for Na'Vi. The save is worthwhile. Simple can drop um, the AK over. Yeah, I would love to see Simple get a pick and then Na'Vi sort of steamroll off of that, but you know, it's just been a slow approach after a slow approach. Yeah, many teams have complained about the T side of this map uh, and, and not really enjoying it when the CTs have money and they get the orbs and they get the util. There's just so much room for aggression and CTs taking face. And you can already see that. JKS Molly and flashed into B short. He kills Flamey and he gets out alive. And, and Navi are defaulting. There's no one there to trade. Flamey was alone. And so that's just like one option for Cole to find an advantage. Navi don't have a pick back yet. Trying to take mid as electronic, using all of his util to push the AWPA back, but Poison stays and smokes off as he pushes through to take electronic. You hate to see that for Na'Vi. Another man down, but Cole are showing us some great face on the CT side. Blame in con all round, yet to be spotted. Perfecto's going to molly him. Oh, look at Config waiting. Had to get double oh, swung, though. No. <laughs> Two different elevations Yikes. make that very, very tricky for old mate Config. Blame now, down in the connector, dinked by Perfecto. Trying to follow up. The nade does find a bit more damage, but ultimately... Oh, not again. Oh, dear. Oh, who wins this round? Get your votes in Let now. us know. <laughs> Let us know. How does this one pan out? This is a little new thing we're trying. It's the guessing game here. Yeah, if you guys could just tell your Jedi friends to stop freezing the server, we'd appreciate that. And oh, complexity! And if you guys Incredible! Got cool, you got it right. Oh. Yeah, Rush wow. had, uh, you know, Rush had flanked out Monster. It looked like Na'Vi were going back A, but they must have walked out a con and got caught by Rush there. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I saw what you saw. Well, this is uh, this is like a very, very good though worked example of what we're talking about when we say the aggression that's needed yeah. to keep Na'Vi out of a game, right? And because Overpass is that much more free for CTs to take this aggression and to try and you know gimmick these uh, these rotations around the map, you know, you've got more time. If you die, like trying to go for a fight down in mid, well, you can pull a B player up and a pretty safe bet that Na'Vi won't have picked up the pace and gotten into A right away. So there's just a lot more that you can try and do here if you're complexity. And that's going to make it a lot harder for Na'Vi to get back into that same state that they were over on Nuke, where it just felt like they could do anything, right? Like they could wait till 20 seconds was left and they could just pick a site you know, spin the wheel. Oh, it's B. Cool, right, let's go. Nades out, we'll vent drop, right? Like, they could just do anything. And that's not the case here, because Complexity are the ones taking the initiative, taking the ground and making Na'Vi work to try and get back into rounds, often at a man disadvantage. Na'Vi, do they want to go faster? Looks like a B rush by the offset. No on monster side, we've got that spawn smoke for Cole and a Molotov as well. Na'Vi will be committing, but after a brief intermission, a word from our sponsors. But no, the train in the way. Simple can't flash. JKS gets molly and Navi are all out and about in the B-bomb side with only two defenders here. First can't put up a fight. And Rush is still here in the pit. Spray is good. Only just. Ooh. And he gets overwhelmed on the trade. Navi now with two guns at their feet and a bomb plant available. Simple's hunting for the gun and he has the bomb. He's very deep in the site and he needs to go back. Heaven Smoke comes in, but that's bought time for this flank. Look at Blame F in Monster, the last position they're going to expect. Yeah, and look at that. Simple can't get the bomb down. A Molotov comes in. Bit of a standstill here for Navi. Oh, Blame's... That's going to create quite the dilemma because Blame is so deep. He's almost basically back in the site, takes a skirmish here with Flamey and wins it. Perfecto on that double wrap. Ooh. Blame F just full sends it into the site. Rightfully so. Perfecto, one on three. Oh. His third, and he's going to grab it. Blame F with a great read and moreover, great positioning. That Molotov stops the plan attempt there from Navi, and, well, the rest is history. Complexity up 7-1. I love the chase. After he gets the first, he just hunts down simple. Even though Blame didn't actually know it, Perfecto was wrapping him. If Blame hung around and waited for that Heaven Smoke to fade, then, then he's probably dead. But, no, he chases a second, reads the third, and finds Cole another round. 7-1. to one. Really good showing. You okay, Hugo? Yeah, Hiccup's coming in. I thought you were getting choked up because of the, the scoreline. I did predict Na'Vi, and Na'Vi give, and Na'Vi taketh away. So does Rush. <laughs> Again, an opening kill for him. The double long push, and they are there to play. Cole, five on three in an instant. So many of these rounds have been left to this. Able to flex the individual skill of these players. Yeah, and that's sort of the, 
you know, their action we're looking for right there. We're looking for that fast paced, you know, utilization of these players in their, you know, pretty impeccable aim from time to time. So trades are coming out here in the B bomb site. Perfecto finds config in this path to getting the bomb planted for a change. Blame F and poison. Set their sights on the B site. Simple with the peak. Blame taken out of the round. Poison left all alone in the 1v2. Simple. Oh, oh, gonna re peak that, but dangerous. Poison has B hop past him. And oh, Perfecto oh, now oh. dropping a smoke. This is a very rough round for Poison with both players being here, and he knows it. He's just going to look to get out of there. So Na'Vi, they will mm. find their second. They finally break this silence. Perfecto with a with a great bit of trade work, right, to open that round back up. It looked like Na'Vi were about to get shot out of yet another attempt at a round. But Perfecto's there to answer the call, fighting alongside guys like Boomich in the site. And you know, that, that little attempt at getting into B on the back of a fast B does feel like it's kind of made Na'Vi have this realization that, yeah, if we are going to play this default, it feels like we're going to get challenged all across the yeah. map. And that's just not been working out for us. Dangerous for Cole to not pad B after that round, but they, they've made the right call. They've got two com, one mid, and Na'Vi going heavy mid as well. The orb sees nothing. They're already up playground. Poison's been caught. Flicks back. Nice shot. Can he escape? Who is just the bomb? Doesn't want to offer that up in the party, but Poison jumps on the bin and gets put right in it. Four on four. Bomb spotted. Double cons still for Cole, and to be sure, they are all together right now. And Na'Vi, they don't know that, right? They could just speed up A and it'd be their round, but no information. Config, even flanking connected, this could be huge as well in figuring out where the bomb is going, but Perfecto still holds on. How long will he wait? Oh, swapping sides, Config sees the feet. Perfecto doesn't know, and now he's gone from the round. Free AK, and Config can go back and join his team in connector. Now, at this point, a B player does need to rotate up because they don't want to lose players fighting into middle where they know Na'Vi are. So actually, Cole just charged through short, all up to A. They've got the perfect read here. This is very clear for Na'Vi, or for Cole, rather, where Na'Vi are. And even though their footsteps are loud, Na'Vi are long, so they don't even hear this rotation. They don't know that Cole have now stacked the A site, and they could be walking into their very dem uh, demise. Oh, dear. Lining up these smokes to try and make it happen. Oh, yeah. Flash through, though. Oh. Rush just gets stuck in. He wants to take the fight and now realizing the bombs here. The rotation yeah. comes in from Blame, but it's not even needed. Round locked in for Cole. And yeah, but it's just so much nice. more aggression, right? This the complexity now looking like a different team to the one we saw on Nuke. It's no longer being forced to respect Na'Vi. They're pushing through smokes. They're getting aggro. They're getting information. And they're being rewarded very handsomely for it. And of course, a tactical timeout comes in for Navi after that one. It went sideways for him real fast over it long. I just actually received a tweet from Gomez, uh, former 100 Thieves, Renegades. You know, he's been with that lineup for quite some time. And he's tweeted me an image uh, of the stats line between the Optic and Renegades game. Now, check out this lineup for Optic. Config, Shazam, Cajun B, Gade and Stan is long. Good old days. Once upon a time. <laughs> they're playing against JKS, Jacob. He's still out. Nifty and Azza. Is that the game that Config got that his kill record? 47 and 21 uh, with 164 ADR. Uh, Sounds about right. Good uh, grief. I think I casted that one. Here you go, man. That ain't the kind of game you forget casting. No. With my boy Desmaray. Dirty Dusty. Shout out Dust one time. That's Amore. <laughs> wow. Umich. <laughs> oh, and aggro, but they lose electronic, don't they, in the process. So and that's funny. now an AWP retrievable. So simple. If you wanted to be a nice guy, he could throw that AK into the hands of Flamey or Perfecto and take the AWP, or he can give it to one of them. But ideally, someone would love to take it here. No one's nearby to actually get their hands on it. I'm hoping that's where we see Perfecto come up through Con. Well, look at, look at this long toilet push from Blame. 
And Config there as well with this pincer set up. Even a third man watching for the wrap around towards the divider. This is a killer little toilet set up. Oh, they flash beautiful. Config in. Now they never know about Boomich up close. And Blame, I think he gets spotted there. Could get out of hand if Simple's able to deal with him, but he's not. And so Blame just falls off, plays it passive, because at this point in time, the last thing you want to do is give them away into A. When you're sitting in this three on two, they have the info that both players are here. So we see JKS get activated down towards that B site, now going aggressive. Blame needs to stay alive, and he will. That's info for Simple that he's located long side. They still don't know the whereabouts of JKS, but the bomb will go down for Simple at least. And a 1v2. If there was one man that you would believe in here, I think we've got him on our screen. Simple. Planted it truck, not for the CT side. He's going to be able to watch it from bank, though, if he does get across, and he will. No one's here to contest it. What with JKS rotating down through mid? Blame F trying to clear these angles. Now they know oh. that it's got to be CT side, and Blame will win the peak out. So complexity, they deal with simple in the 1v2, and they find nine. Just everything going their way right now. Some great calls from Cole, some nice mid-round re-aggression, knowing when to peel back and make Na'Vi hunt them down. And Blame holds onto the toilets for so long in that round, right? Smoking himself off, getting spotted by two separate players, dealing with Flamey on long, and putting Cole in that two-on-one that they eventually are able to close. Na'Vi's T-side has been lacking. They've had nothing. At one B-rush round with Tech Nines worked out. Other than that, it was the pistol win. That's that's the thing as well. Oh, look, man, we've had it into opposite time now. This is yeah. where things get a bit weird, right? We're in the sixth <laughs> dimension. Upside down. If, if everything starts ending, I'd say we didn't warn you, because when that backwards timer strikes, was well, two negatives. Hey, guys, so you only have minus like one hour, zero minutes, and 21, 24, I'm scared, man. I've never seen time move like that. What is the... Oh, there we go. We're back. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, no, like, I... I, when I saw the overpass pick here for, for Na'Vi, it's a map that they love playing, but it's not a map that, that I think loves them back. I don't really like watching them on it either, if I'm being honest. Like, it, they're a team that love these slow plays. And like CT side, you, you always get the idea why Na'Vi like this map, right? Because the CT side's normally good. But I don't know, man, this happens far too often where it just feels like they're running into a brick wall and all it takes is a little bit of aggression to, like, completely wreck them. And, like, the one re the one, the one thing that is nice is we often say, oh, Overpass, that's a map that can be dominated by a strong orping presence, and you've definitely got that in simple. But um, I don't know, man, it, it's like this happens a lot. Like, even when we watched them just recently back at New York, think about, like, the opening game there. They pick into Overpass versus K23. And if you're watching this, yeah. you're probably thinking, who even are K23, right? Like, it's not like a, a roster that have accomplished much yet. But this is like, you know, you got like Mo, Neil, and Kios, Norbert, these guys, right? They, they played them in the opening map there, and, and they almost get wrecked by them. They do salvage it in overtime. But it's like, I don't know, man, Overpass is one that can always look so shaky for Na'Vi. It doesn't feel like a reliable map pick for them. And I do think so much of it is down to this slow style of play that they try to lean towards. And all it takes is for like th this aggression to come through from the CTs. And suddenly it just gets swept aside and you're having to play like every round in a three on four or a three on five with no control and, you know, try to grind your way back yeah. into it. Even when we saw Na'Vi on this map yesterday against Mad Lions, they were relying on their CT side there. It took them OT to win, 10 round CT sides on both teams and... Yeah, I mean, as long as they can they can try and do something to replicate and, and have a good CT side themselves, it's not like GG at this point, but we are at a point where Cole could still sweep this half and go, you know, 11-4, 12-3. And, and at that point, you really are just relying on luck. You're relying on a pistol win and then the anti ecos and then you have a chance at winning your rifle rounds. But even then, like, you want more of a buffer. In, like, in some weird, like, fever dream of mine, I would love to see Na'Vi had Vertigo into their map yeah, pool. Yeah, I wonder when it's right? going to happen, right? Because it, it's not a map we've ever seen them play outside of the, that, that, like, charity event that was uh, MR12. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know, man. There's just something about it where I think it could work for them, right? Like, I don't know about any players' Saving individual it. feelings about that map. Like, Saving maybe it for a big match. I doubt that, man. I don't know. I think you would have pulled it out somewhere down the line, right, by now. 
You know what? I don't know, dude. Like, Na'Vi, they seem to thrive on maps where they can play slow. They can play the mind games. You know, you can have simple explode with the AWP or with the rifle. And nothing seems to fit the bill more than something like Nuke or Vertigo in that case there. I would love to see them play it. I mean, that's like one of the big mysteries, right? I hope one day it happens, and I want to be there when it does. Yeah. It's up there with the Bermuda Triangle, Harry. Big old mysteries. Boomich. I set towards the prize on the B-bomb oh. site, and that's not gonna go well for him. Rush easily takes him out for the smoke balloon for Flamey. He's found all the ground that they need. Navi, the can opener over here on the B site. Yeah. Flamey knocks him down, and that's a big vulnerability. Complexity, to think about getting back in this site, but at this point, you know, what? how exactly are you gonna approach that? Yeah, I mean, Cole have had to be every round of the CT side, and I was wondering, even when Na'Vi rushed it, they, they won that round, and then they went right back to A into the, the triple stack. And I was wondering when they go back, it's not necessarily a rush, it's just a faster approach for Na'Vi, and that's nice, right? Boomage, he, he tries to turn from what he thinks is a flash, it's a smoke, turns away from the monster player, and then Flamey pounces out short and doubles up, winning the round for Na'Vi. And now if you're Cole, you're definitely considering putting numbers towards B at the start of next round and just rotating up if it's not a commitment for Na'Vi. But uh, yeah, I like the approach. The only rounds Na'Vi have won have been faster B rounds. Yeah, and just again for the implications of the matchup, obviously playing for the playoffs here, this will give you that berth. If you do win this series, either Complexity or Na'Vi, you're going to be moving on. Na'Vi up a map. That'll help their case. Now, when you lose this matchup, you get to go down to play the winner of Spirit and OG in the lower bracket semis. Now, that one's, you know, it's got a little spice to it, especially if we see Spirit beat OG and then move on and somehow Navi, you know, falter this series. That creates a pretty cool uh, storyline right there. I almost want to pick Spirit there, right? Risky, but... It's a bold one. Yeah. I'll Let's see how it pans out. Warps out again for Poison. Simple still rifling. Navi don't go early B, but Cole certainly do. Four players on that B bomb side to begin the round. And even if they don't rotate up, they can aggress. And that's what they're doing again. The close Molly on the water. Rush pushes up. They are in connector for Navi. So they can pounce out of short water at any point. But just clearing con, making sure their mid isn't contaminated. Electronic going about his business, throwing the util. And the reaggression A does come in. Blame back to the toilets. Poison orping long. Even config on rotate back up. This would be a great round for Na'Vi to end B. But our Cole patient. Looking keen towards the monster. The spam for Flamey will keep them back for a few more seconds. And uh, I think it was Blame re-smoked the monster from the A site as well. So just keeping up that B pressure. Or bait and switch at long as well. Electronic there to deal with it. No teammate to flash him in. And all, honestly, all utility for Na'Vi almost gone. Two smokes, two flashes, and a Molotov. They're going to end B after all. Electronic, this is an odd position for a B execute. He's hoping for someone to aggress, and that might be the case. Config peaks, but he runs right back. Electronic hears it, and now they set up for B. Oh, Rush gets the info at least. Sees everyone oh, there. going up. But now, thanks to Electronic's lurk, they're going to move back in towards this A site. Poison is down at heaven right now. We'll begin his rotation back up. And Blame F, even maybe looking to get ahead of it, started to make his way over towards CT. There's 10 seconds here. If that bomb gets dropped, this round could be over. Electronic with the opener. Config tries to deny the bomb plot, but wasn't able to do so. And so that last second rotate works wonders for Na'Vi. That's how they find their way to four. Yeah, Electronic, he has all the info there. He may only find one kill in the round, but, but he calls the caller a running back out of B, or running back to B, rather. There was a world that he even gets a pick there as Config was, you know, flashed in for a peek at long. He sees nothing, and instead of aggressing, he just safe rotates. And, well, that's Na'Vi running over the A site with a flawless round about time and building into the T side half. That's nice to not just see them end B, right? That was the expected result of Colt from the get-go. They had four there out of spawn. They rotate B very fast, scared of Na'Vi going down lower as it has, again, been their only win. But finally, a pickup on the A-bomb site. This has been a slow half, all things considered. And, you know, barely getting the bomb down right there, too. Just bleeding the clock out. Two more rounds in this half. 
and we'll see what complexity has to offer on their T side. Yeah, they're broke as well, so this is like a great chance for Na'Vi to get back into the swing of things. Yeah, so, six is nice. Yeah, six is absolutely fine. No worries about that. Boost or, up on B. Yeah, boost on B and for Na'Vi. They want to test it out. Oh, see ya. Flamey gets the first spam, takes down Blame. They're going to try to regress him. Poison tries to punish him for that. And so far, the only ones being punished are complexity over here on this B-bomb site. Rush with an AK. Might just be that last line of hope. Woo. You know, a two-tap there. That goes a long way. Simple out. But still, it's not enough. Config. One on four with a P250. And the bomb's in spawn. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine though, it's a four on one. And Cole stacked that B bomb site, but Navi just brute forced their way in. Great check for Flamey. He's always very aware of these little tricky, you know, boosts and this and that. And he gets underneath them too. So yeah. it's like, well, I, I guess I'll take the shot. Uh, style points, of course. Smoked off in heaven, the config story. Simple's orb is pit or like deep monster. So maybe someone will save it. Yeah, Flamey's grabbed that. Config looking for a kill as Boomage goes up the stairwell. But no armor, he needs an immediate dink and he's not going to get it. So Na'Vi find five, Boomage on a three piece and nice entries into that B bomb site to give Na'Vi yet another round. Where will this one go? There's not going to be an orb available for poison here. Since, you know, they, they picked up the pace that we've seen Na'Vi look that much more scary. They're, they're not necessarily, you know, like just, just charging in all the time, but it's about taking, you know, like the key areas of the map away. And then that gives you that much more room to like gimmick these rotations at like the final 20, 30 seconds, as we saw in that round where they rejoin the lurking electronic up on A. Oh, very lucky to be alive. Navi Davi. Show presence of B. They back away from it with an idea that they could, you know, potentially maybe take this one on into A. From the fountain side and from long. They're posted up for any aggression. They've shown a lot of face to B in hopes that maybe complexity will seesaw it and start to rotate or maybe make a misstep. Still plenty of time to work with here for Navi. Yeah, these last few rounds have just been so much better for Navi on this T side. Like even this one is such a good example. They're not getting fights bought to them over in mid anymore. They've got short, they've got monster control. And this now leaves all their options open. This is a really nice feeling if you're Na'Vi. You're no longer being constrained to like an early mid fight and then forced into a B play at 20 seconds left. You've got control and they still kind of do, right? This is what I'm on about with Overpass being a bit easier for the CTs to take engagements at a slightly lower risk. Poison deals with the toilets player, gets out of there and he's fine. Doesn't have to worry about it. The bomb leaves A as a result and that forces Na'Vi into a B push at the final 20 seconds. Config, the only man left alive inside of the site. He's down to a USP, oh. but they just can't find him. End of things. Quite the lead for complexity, but can they long this out and take us to Mirage? They're going to need a strong T side to get there.
put all the masks that I had on the shelf. Wish I could stay, but it's bad for my head. back into it and we're going to see if navi can put up the necessary rounds to close this close this one out in two maybe even close it out in two who knows we'll find out this is the intel extreme masters beijing 2020 online a game with a playoff contingent in it happening right before your very eyes of course before your very ears will be harry and hugo serenading us with their sweet melodic casting tones and true harmony take it away harry yeah man thank you very much you made it sound like I might start like breaking into song and dance. Well, go for it. Um, Pretty good at the whale song. Whale song. Yeah, song of my people, of course. <laughs> Here we go, man. Poison getting out through mid. The rest of Cole in behind him. <laughs> Nothing to be found just yet. Boomich is waiting by the divider. Now, this spot's slimy, especially if Simple can draw attention in from the site. Hmm. Doesn't find anything right away, and we'll have to get down eventually. There's the swing oh. from Boomich, and that's a little bit ugly. Simple now, the only man left defending this A site, desperately calling four rotations, but they are closing the gap, and Simple, he is surrounded. Oh, There's the execution from Blame Air. Flamey and Perfecto, the only, uh, now just Flamey remaining, and even though he gets poisoned with a bit of a smoke shot there, it's not gonna matter, 1v3. Odds pretty have heavily stacked against him. There's a player in bank, one at truck, and Blame there just to pull the attention in as well. There's that triple peak, the crossfire, too strong and complexity. They get 11 in the bag. Yeah, not sure about the swing there for Boomich. Yeah, like it was advantage, or excuse me, adventurous to say the yeah, least. Yeah, you know you're going to get checked and, and you probably are right, but you're hoping the simple's drawn enough attention that you can at least catch that first kill. And, uh, and Blame plays it perfectly. When he has Simple trapped on the site, Simple's desperately looking for the pick. Blame is just wiggling as he lets his team wrap behind. Simple turns as he hears them get to truck, and then Blame goes wide. Like, that's a really nice play from him. Not just giving Simple the one-on-one -on -one that Simple could have won and then turned into a multi. Simple's done with this, though. He's going to aggress. Only for a bit of damage with the Deagle. Poison's holding. He's going to flash config right back into the action. Simple does get away to the toilets just in time. Four towards B for Na'Vi. But this is Cole taking mid and, and leaning towards A early on a default. 3-1-1. One, one. Playing things nice and safe right now. Boom, it's jump spotting towards the water side. Bomb at the top of Khan. 
just have a feeling they're going to try to end up on B here for the complexity side. They open the door, rush, first one on the case, scoping it out a little bit. Grenade does six points of damage onto Perfecto. Rush closes the door on his way out, and that whole B idea canceled for the time being, of course. Blame, Rush, Smokes, let's go. And they <laughs> rain into the site. Corey, Trevor, Smokes, let's go. And the flash is good to keep that push at bay, but only for a moment. Simple falling electronic, good for one, but not the double. And this A site now belongs to Cole again. They just run it back once more. This time with even more utility and even less in the way of A. RV forced into a save. And already, like, you know, that's a four spy, so obviously, like, you're not going to get the full taste of what this Na'Vi CT side is there. But it's a lot more, you know, restrained in comparison to what we saw from Cole, where, where this entire CT half from them centered around taking those early engagements, trying to disrupt the flow of things out of the gate, and then rotating players around. Na'Vi with a much more passive hold. They're the ones playing reactively in that round there. And it's just not enough, right? When, when you're in that situation, you are relying on those three players in the A site to get, at the minimum, a kill a piece. Like, that's what you're hoping for. And then you can move in in like a two-on-two -two retake and maybe it's feasible. And with only one kill getting found, that's just simply put, not enough for Na'Vi. And so now they have to take an eco around this saved MP9 and CZ. That's all they've got and a bit of utility as well. And Na'Vi are going to need some incredible gun rounds to get into this game, right? Like, that's the danger of not having a, a close first half. You lose a pistol, suddenly you're down 13-5, and you're relying on your first rifle round to be excellent. And even then, sometimes that is not enough. Cole. Ooh, they lose a man towards B, but it's traded by JKS, and all is back under control. The only weapon in this round for Na'Vi removed. Yeah, but we're at even numbers at least. So blame F out of the round gives us the 4v4, still the pistols. Most insurmountable task here. They're going to go for a triple boost. Here we go. Simple. Oh. Well, guys. Both jumping up to make the teammates stand. And now Simple's creeping and crawling in. This is a, a different one, right? You're looking at the little, uh, little cubby. It's might have no. a kill here, confident. Oh, oh slow! <laughs> there it is. Oh, oh. And now you got the info. Rush is going to dunk him. And Poison has him trapped in graffiti. They know there's one more. Smoked out, Electronic looking for a pistol. Only finds the default. And yeah, he's dead. It's just a matter of when, not if. Nice try. But yeah, that, that one takes an awful amount of time to edge into the simple, right? It was like a solid 10 second yeah. slide right there. Maybe even longer. <laughs> Grief. But there was an idea, and that is what we look at. And also, complexity marching forward. Potential now for the third map. Isn't quite certain just yet, but it'll be Mirage if we need it. And also, coming up after this matchup, after Mirage, provided we go there, Liquid taking on Chaos. Some of you call them Liquid, and they're sick of hearing it. That's going to be a good one, but... I think so will Mirage, assuming we get there. And I think it's a safe assumption. Na'Vi are going to need to win this round and start streaking pretty heavily. And Cole have shown that they've got more than enough depth on this map. Double orb, nothing to lose. Simple spotting mid. Flamey has his as well down towards the B-bomb site. Simple doesn't know they're all up long right now. There's three players. Going to get jump spot info. Electronic looking for it. He had a great opening game, but 3-15 and 15 right now. He spots the orb at long. And he stops jumping. It's uh, it's not gone well here for Electronic so far. Would be about time to come online at 13.5. Simple. Aggressive <laughs> AWP stance here towards the toilets, and you start getting that rumbling feeling in your tummy. Lexi busting out long. Electronic falls in the sight. Boomich oh, has him lined wow. up with a FAMAS. Takes down Config and Blame. 
And that does leave poison to JKS to pick up the pieces. Two on three. Still winnable. They go so early that Cole actually have time left around. This is something Navi never got. 40 seconds to meander this two on five, and Poison's made it happen with another. JKS wall banging oh. Flamey out of the toilet. <laughs> and now it's a two on one. Perfecto is trapped alone in A. They don't know about him, though. Poison's clearing the angle, the swing, the miss. And Perfecto has to try and fight this bomb out. JKS oh. coming for support. He swapped back to the rifle. Perfecto trying to pick battles. But He's so low, 15 seconds. Can Perfecto find any? He's got one. Poison trying to find this battle. Jump up, Perfecto knows, and he's gonna get swung. He's trying to escape five seconds. Poison can't get close enough. He needs to sprint. Perfecto hits the feet, and he's oh, beaten in the wrong man. way. One Great second. round from Poison. <laughs> wow. Utilization of the clock just down to a pinpoint there. A fake run on the CT side of the truck, and then he doubles back with a second to spare. Man, but I, I, we, we have X-Ray, and that fooled me. I thought yeah. he missed the timing. Perfecto plays that so well, but Poison just one step better. Look at this, right? Runs around the right, fakes him out. One second left when he gets that. Oh, that couldn't be closer. And man, hurts. yeah, that, that yeah, would upset hurts. you and all, dude. You played that so well if you're Perfecto. Two on five. Oh, that's ugly, man. That's ugly. That should have been an RV round, and they know it now. Five to their name, 14 to complexity on the map pick of Na'Vi. And their last tactical pause used on up for the Na'Vi side. The money in a really rough spot. What do they even want to do here? They're going to invest. They're going to throw what they can into this round by the looks of things. Two on four, rather, not two on five. They picked one up on A early, but yeah, that's a sick round. That's incredible. And like, that's the breathing room that Na'Vi never get on this T side, right? They try and go for A plays. You know, they've always got 13 seconds left as they plan. And uh, and Cole had 40. So they just have all the time to, to hang around in the toilets, to wait for Na'Vi to over rotate, to give them fights. JKS with the AWP as well. That was just beautiful from complexity. And right there, Na'Vi, they may have had the chance. And I say the chance, even then, being facetious at a comeback but they can't even get their first rifle on the board. This could just be a done deal here and now. Trying to hold on to B, Coffee spams Perfecto out as the smoke blooms. So one for one, Poison running down Con. He has an orb, but like, trying to kiss it. No reaction. Poison going back up the scope. Flamey flashed out, and oh, this is going to be messy. The orb is still a mid. That could be something for Na'Vi, as Boomish is pushed through, but he doesn't know. Now he does. Free kill, free gun, but Na'Vi have lost B. Simple holding on from heaven in the time being. And he's even going to stop the cross. Rush, spam through the smoke. You like that? JKS now in the clutch, but we know what this guy can do. Time to shine, JKS. Time to choose. The monster wrap should have it locked in, and it does, right? Nice and easy for Electronic. He's had a pretty rough game here. He's the man to salvage six to the name of Na'Vi. Waiting for Boomich to go and retrieve the uh, the AWP, I'm imagining. And there it is. Grabs that for Poison. So staying afloat on RV, but just barely. Six to 14. Very, very far from ideal. <laughs> yeah, not at all, really. Still, a huge round to win, right? If they lose that, they put everything into it. So if they lose that, this game's definitely done. And, you know, it could still be done. We could still be going to Mirage. And with how it's looking right now, that looks like the more likely of two options, but you've at least given yourself a fighting chance if you're Na'Vi. Cole are going to steer well clear of that B site, right? They try and give it some love, and it does not love them back. So instead, they leave JKS here just to hold on. And that's in case Na'Vi get aggressive, which honestly could be well within their wheelhouse at this point in time, right? The thing that they've been lacking is like any kind of early info, any kind of early uh, territory. And with two players down here at Monster, it wouldn't surprise me if we see someone look to go aggressive. Perfecto with a flash as well could even look to get someone pushed through. Oh, they are going back B would. Now Navi with three here. And Flamey's been holding this Molotov for a century, just waiting <laughs> for the time to burn. 
one century later. They're not going to be ready for two here, but they could even line up for Cole on the entry. Flamey still touched. Perfecto, Perfecto bounces out and then back in. Oh, nice nade. Good nade. Yeah. Real good nade. Perfecto eats it down to 21 HP. TikTok. Yeah, for complexity, they've slowed down on the back of the smoke at the Monster Tunnel. They've reasserted themselves over here to sandbags. Now they just got to pull the trigger. Oh, line up for Boomage. Flamey's still a threat. They know that he got a kill, so he's still here. Still ready to deliver the goods, and it gets completely discounted. Mm. Yeah, that's a little bit rough, right? This B site has not been kind to call, and they might look to stay away from it now. Especially because, like, when they have lent towards B, they've often given quite the, the signal to Na'Vi that this is where they're looking to end up, right? Even yeah. as they go in there, they're moving into a site that's stacked with four Na'Vi players in it. As so that kind of leaves them at the mercy of just hoping they win these gunfights out, which, as we see, they don't. You also know Simple's orping A. That's probably a good incentive to, to hit this lower site from time to time. But yeah, Complexity, they're, they're figuring it out. They've got a long game ahead of them to, to try things out, right? They've got more than enough breathing room. So they can afford to take risks. Nice tap for Simple. Config just gone like that. And Cole, I mean, they're just running at A with pistols. That's all they can really do. Navi is set, uh, set up for this super ready. Simple on the site. More alliteration than we need. Oh. <laughs> Any more? Come knocking on Simple's door. Oh. oh. Wow. Sky. Two shots left, though. Three players. That's enough for Simple, I think. Yeah, especially when you consider how many players are alive for Navi. You guys often talk about the Moors. Well, these hills have eyes. These hills have thighs. Yeah, well, the orb doesn't work, <laughs> just use the pistol. Right? <laughs> That's the thing, it's not like, yeah, I think you're bang on, right? Like, you want to steer clear of simple, but it does feel like if Cole are wanting to exploit B, they need to give reason for simple to stay at that A bomb site. And that's been the thing that's been missing in these few B executes that we've seen. Simple has often been that first man rotating down when nothing's heard over at A. This round though, Na'Vi switch it up entirely and they go three into middle, trying to take these early gunfights. Not something that Cole have had to worry about yet. Electronics even gone aggressive in party. Simple holding the connector. This is a bit of a rough setup to try and get through. And into Electronic they go. Simple with the tag. And Electronics still a threat here, locking down this mid rotate. Man, this is brutal. Navi on the scene. They're not messing around. Now, Config could be the difference maker, at least to give Cole a chance with this flank. Simple. Not even considering oh. it, but now missed shots from Convict gets it right the second time around. Sees the barrel of Electronic as well. Knows that there was a man down in Connector. Boomich has wrapped all the way through T-Spawn, and that's Night Night JKS left on to Convict. Not an easy round by any stretch of the imagination. Has to worry about Con, T-Spawn, and Perfecto is still a big old question mark. Where even is this guy? Convict's got no idea. Trying to go back to deal with Boomich and open up that, that bit of doubt in the mind of Na'Vi. Boomich. Oh, oh dear! Yeah. Convy gets away with it. Now Fine. 1v2. Gotta run A. And that's gonna put a bit of a uh, bit of doubt in Na'Vi's mind, but yeah, back turned into the uh, the Orp of Perfecto. And so nine for Na'Vi, now five between them and Cole. Boomage. <laughs> Just, I guess, thinking that, like, oh, the time's low. He's not coming B. I would have heard him by now. But yeah, Nate's out in hand. It does get caught. Not a worry. Still save Simple, who hits a tag and connector, and Boomage is tucked, and they're not ready for him. And great play in middle for Electronic, of course, getting away with a lot on the party. Now, if you were ready for that mid takeoff, there were so many B rounds for Cole, they'd read into it. Now, where will, where will Cole go? Fast B. Navi had success doing this on the eco rounds, and now they're going to need to hold it down with utility of their own. Players in the monster. Perfecto's going to hear this one. 
Wally coming towards short, but it's aggro right into Flamey Spray for three. Almost a fourth. Flame hits the Deke. Is there a chance here? Simple's going to trade the pistol, and Blame F runs out. Oh, I love this. One on two. Time to make it yours. Time to give it everything you've got. Na'Vi, after a few seconds, will realize this possibility, and they can rotate up A in time. But do they want to split up and give Blame its separate engagement, or try and play the trade game, in essence, even offering, offering up a plant for Blame? It just seemed appropriate for the running. Yeah. Blame F's going to have to continue to do a lot of that. He worked his way up long A. No one's stopping him. No one in sight just yet. He's just going to get given so much time to plant and to go wherever he wants. And he'll realize that soon. Obviously, Navi could be close at the CT side, but Blame has a smoke to cut off. Or he could flank B, go full around the world. The old nothing V Guardian play. Ah, uh, nothing. Shout out Jordan Gilbert one time. Look at Blame F, though. Oh, no. Yeah, he's going <laughs> to miss everything. Yeah, this is, this is awful. He doesn't realize just how ridiculous this is about to be. They hear him drop. <laughs> they're like, lol, he went heaven. They're going to try and boost CT, maybe oh, even, and go for the peak. Instead, Simple just running him down. And yeah, yeah. Blame. Oh. Nice oh. try, but goodbye, simple Damn. and electronic. They don't move, they don't falter, they lock in that round. A blame overcomplicating it almost, right? Trying to get that flank on, anticipating that maybe he's hit some god tier timing or can surprise them with that plant. It's also a nice setup for Na'Vi, right? Like, just the fact they're not splitting 1-1 one, one there and, and playing for their own fights and giving Blame the chance. Like, not only that, but they're also tucked in spawn. The last position Blame is ever going to clear. And yeah, big brain on his shoulders, but unfortunately, too top heavy in that round. Na'Vi, they're buying time. They're buying a matchup. They're making this one interesting. It was 14-5 to Cole. Not out of the woods yet, of course. Yeah, Na'Vi turned this one around. Yeah. A little bit of life there at the end of the first half, and then in the second half, it's been the Na'Vi show. Simple. Can he keep up his performance on A? He looked like he wanted a little more there, but doesn't know what lurks on the other side. Could be Poison's Orb. There is certainly money, but Poison's on the rifle. Tight gap for Simple. Electronic re-aggress at long. He's joining him on this A side right now, just jump spotting. Collar moving up mid pretty early in the round with the bomb too, but not everyone here. JKS leaving his B luck now. Double monster again for Na'Vi. Do they want to aggress and get that information early? It's a big risk to take, but it's one that Cole often did. Rush was constantly pushing monster and realizing these A plays were coming through before they happen. Now, Na'Vi don't have that info. Spot for simple. He gets something, but no connection on that AWP. 40 seconds as Cole get ready to overtake this A site. It's a big smoke for simple, and he's going to play around it. Oh, simple lying in wait. And oh, there's no. the spot. Going to get out of there. That's going to trigger a rotation around from Boomich. So now a five on three inside of this A site. Simple oh, has to run away. Blind. Boomich blind as ever. Simple with a hell of a tag. Electronic falls though, and it is all onto oh. Simple. He can't get anything done. Rush with the entries. Ready and waiting to try and put 15 up on the board. This bomb has to get across, but instead, Config and Poison just nailed the shots needed. They trade that out, and it's a good thing they do. That bomb gets dropped crossing. That could have gotten out of hand with only eight seconds left. Complexity though, they navigate those waters well. They get on to 15 and now they're staring down the barrel of that third map trying to get us there yeah that's awkward for Na'Vi there right from simple being so close with the orb missing a couple of shots Boomish gets full flashed out on truck and can't you know drop that close smoke he doesn't really know where he is and Cole just heavy up on the entries Na'Vi only ever saw one player on A before suddenly five were on the site very very close running through the toilet smoke now Cole, just one away, 15 to 10, five chances to do it. Na'Vi on a broken buy. Simple does have that orb. Alone on the A site. Desperately hoping he can get an early advantage. Na'Vi have been going for this double monster setup many times, but Cole have strayed away from B. Once again. Has been their undoing. 
and they want to do this up, put a nice bow on it, and set us up for Mirage, a three-map series on our hands. See, and in all the rounds that Na'Vi haven't fought mid, that often means that they've had a three-man B stack. And I think that's something complexity have caught wind of, right? This time, though, simple is challenging, and that's a bit of a change. They even early rotate Boomich up towards A. Simple's going to trade places with him by the looks, maybe start to play that heaven position. Right. And that would be the right read to make. They're going to try and boost Blame up for some vision into the site. No one at the barrels, though, and Blame falls off immediately. Perfecto hidden in this close right corner. This double monster setup has been the undoing of Cole before. Is it going to happen again? It's going to have to if Na'Vi want to stay in this game because everyone is still up at this A site right now for the Na'Vi side. Now the push is in. They see Perfecto, Ooh. but they are able to deal with him. Flamey trades. And we're into a three-on-three -three retake. Simple. Going to have to hit heavy and hit hard with this sort. Bomb going down. Molly to deny the CT aggression and config playing close. They boost Simple up. Uh -oh. He's going to try and take an early peek. Doesn't see anything from the boost. The JKS is ready for it. That's info for config. And Boomich alone with the Deagle. 1v3. Ooh. Down goes the first. Rush trades it out. And Cole, they lock in three maps. They take us to Mirage. This series, the gift that keeps on giving. We're going the distance. And it all ends in just a moment. Stick around. We'll be back with our third map after the break.